Hey everybody, this is Pastor Lyle. Hey, we're going to continue our series on Jesus in Genesis. You know, today I'm coming to you from Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. You know, we know Genesis 3 is the fall of man. When the devil came in and got Adam and Eve, you know, the deceived to eat from the forbidden fruit. And now God has, has already uh, cursed the devil, told him, you know what, you could crawl on your belly, you're going to eat the dirt on the ground. That's how low you're going to be. You know, in an ancient of days, when a man... When a king went against the king, the, the king who was defeated went in front of the king that conquered him. He laid prostrate on the ground and he had to put his face in the dirt and the conquering king walked over, put his foot on top of the, his enemy and told us, I am superior. I have victor, victory over you. I have now have authority over you. No, this is what that means. This is what Jesus is doing here. So you know what? I have victory over you already. You know, from the beginning, God always says, victory is already mine. I already defeated you, all right? You know, what God's going to do here now, if we looked at verse 15, you know, this says, now we'll put an enmity between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed. He will crush your head and you will strike his heel. See, already we're finding grace already from God already to his creation, to man. You know, he's already said, you know, Satan, between your seed and my seed, you know what? There's, 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 there's a struggle going. You know, if we go back to uh, uh, Ephesians chapter 6, you know, when we put on that full armor of God, you know, we talk about those struggles of principalities. This is the enmity between you and the woman, right? You know, let, let me read this, what it says here in Ephesians 6. And 12, you know, I'm going to read it out of the, the Bible here. It says, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood. You know, we can, flesh and blood can't beat Satan. You know what? It says, but, our, but against the rulers, against the authorities, and against the powers of this dark age of this world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realm. There's where the struggle is. That's where the enmity is between God and the woman. You know, so that is, is Israel, you know, and we are part of Israel. When we come to be uh, Christians, we are part of Israel. We're talking about you. So God says, you know, there's, there's a battle that's always going to go on until I come back and I put the, the serpent, the dragon, and throw him into the pits of hell. But let's look on here a little bit more in the second part of Genesis 3 and 15. It says, and between your seed and her seed, he will crush your head and you will strike his heel. So there again, we're talking about Christ Jesus you know, having victory over this through the seed of the woman, right? And we know this is talking about the seed of the woman because God, you know, when he talked to, to Abraham, he says, through your seed. It's a singular, not seed. He says it was a singular, so it's through your seed, right? Through a Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He said the same thing today, King David. You know, so now it rise up from your generation, a seed who will sit on your throne. It's a, it's a singular again, right? And even in Isaiah chapter 7 and 14, you know, God is, he reports, and he says, therefore, the Lord will give you a sign. A virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, the seed of God, you know, because Jesus says so in John 14, he says, I am the way, the truth, and life, and nobody comes unto the Father except through me. So there's that seed. It's the seed that's going to give us victory over everything. You know, it's the seed. You know what? This is, and, and, and I like the, the four Gospels. You know, talks about in the beginning, you know, about Jesus Christ and that seed that came in there to give us this victory. And I think uh, Luke 1 and 35 says that the best, you know, of, of the birth of our Lord and Savior, the conception of a birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus. You know, he had to use a woman. Because remember, it was a woman who birthed sin in the creation when she first ate of the forbidden fruit. Now, God's going to use, you said here in Genesis 3, 15, through her seed. So now he's going to use the seed of the woman the birth in the Messiah, the righteousness, the Redeemer, you know, to help us forgive all of our sins, right? It says, and the angel, let me read this, it says in Luke 1 and 35, it says, the angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you, so that the one, the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God, Emmanuel. So God, he says, you know what, it's through the Adam, the first Adam brought in death, you know, right? And now the second part here now is through the second Adam, which is Christ, which brings in the redeeming, right? Because in Romans 6 and 35, it says, for the wages of sin is death. You know, we, went, we're all, we all go through this, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, our Lord. You know, let's look a bit, you know, in Romans chapter 5 and, and 17 says, for if by the trespass of the one man, Adam, right, death reigned 
through that one man. Well, that's, that's how come we still have death is because of the disobedience of the one man, Adam, right? How much more will those who receive God's abundant provision of grace and of the gift of righteousness reign in life through the one man, Jesus Christ? See, now that compares with Genesis 3.15. It's the grace God gave Adam and Eve. You know, they know the devil deceived them and God says, you know what, I'm, I'm giving you grace because you're my creation. I created you in my image and in my likeness. So I'm, I'm setting forward right now and I'm setting in motion victory for you through the seed of the woman, which is going to bring in the Messiah, which is going to have victory over the devil and put that serpent, that ancient of serpent, the devil himself, in the pits of hell, which he talks about in the end of Revelations. So continue on. So we're going to talk some more about Jesus in Genesis.